I'm going to go a little bit with, if I could just kind of almost take, you know, a couple of still pictures or just a two second video clip and see what he looks like. What I'm doing on him might change a little bit. And I think like he's one where I'm looking at that with the speed a little with the trot. I think if you would see him, you'd go, should I need to slow down just a touch? But if you're if you're sitting on them, it feels like, God, I need to kind of really kick them and make a move because there's so much holding happening in his back. But I think it is good, you know, one like him. Horses really don't warm up in the truck, you know, in terms of the way their spines work when they're holding a little bit tight. I mean, they do warm up in the trot, I shouldn't say that, but the, the movement in the back is very limited in the trot versus the canter. So the trot has a real, kind of takes the length of the vertebra and basically twists them, you know, starts at the back and goes to the front. The back turns one way and the front turns the other, like the way you'd kind of hold a jar and loosen the lid if you were just going to turn it back and forth a couple of inches. That's the way the spine works in the trot. Whereas in the canter, it works way more, um, you know, it fluctuates way more up and down. Not like a trampoline, it doesn't have that kind of bounce, but you could envision that kind of, you know, upward and downward um, stretching and kind of contracting motion to the back. So you get a lot more effect in the canter when it comes to warm up as far as loosening up a tight back torse is getting cantering. The thing with the trot is, you know, you're gonna really feel the evenness better in the trot. You're gonna make sure there's sound feeling. You're gonna know kind of the even feel in the contact if they're leaning on a leg more than the other. And that kind of stuff I always like to sort out a little bit before I get to canter because the way the gate works diagonally and diagonalizing our aids, they can cover up a lot of little connection issues in the canter. And then we don't have the, the ability to really supple them the same way as we can in the trot with the changes of bend and things. So following that training scale mentality, rhythm, suppleness, contact, where they start to connect and the connection starts to build is really where the looseness starts to set in. But the suppleness is really done, or the suppling work is really done in the trot, right? All of the bending work and changes of direction, especially when we're talking about kind of the warm-up. So as soon as you start to feel his body being receptive and, you know, becoming more supple, then I would get the canter early and get some of that canter going to get him connected and get